Hi, hello, wagwan, bonjour, guten tag, jean dobre. Ladies, gentlemen, non-binary, or however you like to be represented, welcome to Europlay as part of Gamescom. Woo! <laughs> now, I'm your host with the most, Mr. Midas, and I'm gonna be taking you on this amazing gaming journey. Now, in Europlay, we get to see some of the most incredible and talented developers all across Europe. So let's say hello to some of them. Hi, everyone. My name is Goran, and I am the game designer behind Ripout, our cooperative horror sci-fi shooter. Hi, we call it Grey from Latvia. Today we are presenting our investigation game, The Case of the Golden Idol. Hello guys, I'm David from Pentakill Studios and we are extremely proud of being here. We are a young company with just three months of life and we want to make great things. Our team is currently working on our first title called The Occultist, which will be released on PC, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. Hope you like it and I'll see you in the afterlife. Hi there, I'm Ioana from Gummy Cat Studios and we're proud to be representing Romania at Europlay with our management adventure game, Bear and Breakfast. Hello everyone, my name is Nikolai from Payara Games. Today we're very happy to show you our game Beyond the Thaw and we're very excited to represent Belarus here at Europlay. Have fun everyone! Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some job to do. Hi everyone, I'm Cosima from Happy Volcano, representing Belgium with our extreme racing game where the goal is to stop, you suck at parking. We are thrilled to be featured in the Europlay along with other many talented indies. See you on the road and happy parking! I am Lukas from Amanita Design, a small independent studio based in Prague, Czech Republic and I work as producer on our latest upcoming title called Happy Game and it's not happy at all, it's not a happy game it's twisted and disturbing and all sorts of bad things happen to our little hero and I have to admit that it's a great pleasure to be representing our country in Europlay this year with something so twisted and I can't wait to hear what you guys think about the game when it uh, launches later this fall but until then, good luck to our fellow developers and happy Gamescom! Привет, я Алексей Сатянов, and I am present Sketch Crawler. It's my personal project that take long time to grow, and I'm ready to present it. I plan to self-publish it because it's too wild for publisher. Thank you for your attention, and see you in my game. Thank you. 
Hello from France. All the team at uh, Awesome Studio is really proud to present you our new games, the Smurfs Mission by Leaf. And uh, we're really proud to be part of the Europlay competition and to represent France and Lyon. Cheers. Yeah. Ciao everyone, I'm Antonio Granata, CEO at Stormine Games. Our game, Battorello 7, is going to represent Italy at Europlay and we couldn't be more proud about it. I wish you luck, Batora, and enjoy the show. Wow, Italy are just chilling on the beach like that, you know. What a great bunch. But I'm not on the beach. We are coming to you from Loading Bar, yes? And we have a live studio audience. Everyone say hello! hello! I like these lot. Now, I brought my wig and my sequences because I planned to give you my vocal talents. I was gonna wow you all with my amazing voice. But Yuki said, no, that's not the place for it. They said Europlay is all about European developers. So we don't need that. It's all about these amazing European developers and showcasing their talents. And I'm super excited for it. Now in the building, we have some of our judges. We've got judges from Quali and MCV, but they're not important at all no shade to them the most important judge is you at home yes you have to help us decide who our winner is and the voting link is open now i got to speak to quali our sponsors so let's run the clip scan ben thank you very much for joining me now really really important thing to me is i love what quali represents you are a publishing company but you're fun you're great natured, like you are the kind of people that people want to come and be part of. Like, what is it that really makes you stand out as a publisher compared to others? Well, I think we, we've got history over the past 10 years of publishing um, in hyper casual. We've recently moved into PC and console. Um, you know, our owner has been in the industry making games for 35 years, and the key pillar of what we do is making games fun. Um, you know, we have a I think that then transcends throughout the company. You know, we make fun games. Everyone's having a fun time. You know, it's just a, it's a cool place to be. Yeah, and I see you're giving away Teslas. I'll take yeah. one if you want. <laughs> I'm more than happy to take one. Yeah, yeah. Now we're going to see some really exciting games. What are you looking out for? You know, obviously the indie market is very competitive. So I think one of the most important things that we look for is, you know, something that's unique, does something different, you know, something that, maybe adds a new spin on a genre that, that already exists or maybe combines two genres to um, you know create something different and interesting so we are going to see uk developers which is amazing homegrown developers why should they come to you as a publishing company um, i think one of the advantages that quality has is that we're run by developers so you know we have a developer mindset you know we are more than willing to help our partners be able to develop the games they want to develop, reach their goals. We also have a very experienced team in our publishing department. Um, so, you know, we're, I think we have a pretty solid foundation to be able to help developers, you know, to take their game to the level so that they want to level. achieve. Yeah, yeah. Love that. Now, you've had major success when it comes to mobile games. And like you said, you're stepping more into the PC and console market. What challenges does that find when it comes to you? Um, I think the, the biggest challenge is that, you know, for Quali, this is a new venture. So, you know, getting brand recognition in that space um, is going to take a bit of time. But, you know, we have a very experienced team. We have, you know, a long history in our senior management of creating games on PC and console. So, you know, I think that we have all the right pieces in place to be, be successful. Finally, if someone's watching today and they love everything you represent, what tips would you give that studio or developer to really be able to stand out when it comes to giving their game to quality? Um, I think approaching any publisher, you know, they should be confident in the game that they're making, make sure that they've done their research in terms of looking at the market, looking at um, competitor titles, you know, and trying to find the fun in their game and trying to find that, that unique space where it would exist. 
Um, and then, you know, we're just open to seeing what devs are working on. So, you know, it's a case of reaching out and speaking to me or one of the team and us having a conversation about what you're doing. Amazing. Anyway, forget this interview now. Let's really get hands on and see what you're about. Let's do it. Thank you, Ben. Now remember, whenever you're talking about the show, use the hashtag Europlay21. Now I've got my phone on me, so I'm gonna be keeping an eye on chat and tweets and comments, and I'm gonna be reading some of them out on today's show. Now a little bit of housekeeping. Now, all of the trailers you're gonna to see today, they're family friendly, you don't have to be shook but some of them are 18 plus. We had a spectacular UK game of the show a couple days ago. It was amazing. And our winner, of you find out, are representing United Kingdom. Let me hear you say, yeah! yeah! Yes, they are representing us Brits at Europlay 21. So let's start the show watching them before we start. Hi everyone, I'm Jaco Masi, the narrative director of Stormland Games. This is our new video game, Batora Lost Haven, a non-linear interplanetary story-driven action RPG that combines the feature of an hack and slash and a twin stick shooter. You play as Avril, a naive and reckless girl who lost everything, whose physical and mental balance is the only weapon to save planet Earth from oblivion. Your main job will be to help Avril balance her physical and mental powers. The double health bar will keep track of both, and if one of them runs out, well, it's game over. The main feature of Batora Lost Haven is a new RPG mechanic called Nature's Witch. 
It allows Avril to freely swap between her physical and mental nature. It's not so easy though. The natural switch is a classical case of something that is easy to play and hard to master, and it will challenge both your strategical abilities and your gaming skills. The story has a dual nature too. Because of the karma system, each choice Avril makes will have consequences for her, the character she meets and the places she visits. The different outcomes are not so easy to predict though. Careful, because what you think is the right choice might lead to total chaos. You can choose to adopt a diplomatic and generous approach as a defender or to act as a conqueror with a more aggressive attitude. Just remember that each of your actions will have consequences. For the visual style in Batora Lost Haven, we took inspiration from the graphical art of the past, especially Paul Lear's retro sci-fi art of the 1950s and Alphonse Mucha Art Nouveau. We wanted to represent a colourful, mesmerising world, each with its own distinctive identity and an intriguing world building. Ready to save Earth from Oblivion? Batora Lost Haven is coming to PC and consoles. Wishlist it right now on Steam. Wow, we are starting on a high. Like, Batora's Lost Haven looks amazing. I love the art style, the combat mechanics. Will you be a conqueror or a defender? MC Fixer, will you be a conqueror or a defender? Defender! Love that. <laughs> Yes, Italy are coming very, very strong. And that main pro tag, the representation, you know I am down for it. But it doesn't matter what I think, you are the most important judge. Forget the others in the room. It's all about you. So make sure you head over to Yuki's Twitter so you can get that voting link. And remember, whenever you discuss the show, use the hashtag Europlay21. Now I've been looking at the chat. And I've been looking at Twitter. Now on Twitter, Saunders says, Spain will win Europlay for sure. And during Twitch in the chat, Snazzy underscore Panda one says, hopefully the UK will do better than they did at Eurovision. Yes, <laughs> we all hope that. And also on Twitter, Frenzy says, loving the game so far. Um, can we do this? on the real Gamescom next year, Europlay, hashtag 21. So just like them, make sure you have your say. But you don't wanna hear me rabbit on, you wanna see some games, so let's check out some more. tell you all about Pine Ball. It used to be such a great spot. Charming and beautiful. Now it's a dump. No wonder nobody steps foot in this place anymore. You'd have to go out there and clean up the joint. Get some new furniture and remodel everything. And even after all of that, you'd still need to take care of the critters, dredge the swamp, 
and throw out all the garbage. Oh, and you probably should do something about whatever's lurking out there. Driving, not only an amazing game title, but a great explanation of certain people's driving ability. Now, I keep it a buck. If I had to fly over a river to get my driving license, I might not even have it. And Romania's beer and breakfast. Like, what's better than a life sim? interacting creating everything we're doing it as a bear you can't beat that amazing but like i said it's not about me it's about you the judge at home now let's have a look in the chat see what people are saying so from twitch i've got mr midas looks peng coming from mama midas Thank you, mum. I'm glad you are down with technology. Represent you all of the time. And on Twitter, um, Jupiter underscore Hadley says, currently at Europlay 21, with the amazing and energetic host being good studio vibes. Thank you, I will pay you a little bit later. <laughs> now, remember, whenever you're talking about the show, use the hashtag Europlay21. Make sure you go and vote for your favorite game. Don't waste no time, because these games are incredible. Let's look at some more.
Hello, my name is Nikola and I'm a game director at Bayara Games. Today I want to show you our game Beyond the Thaw. Hello to every listener out there, this is Radio Vostok and here is the latest news. Got yourself trapped into cold weather? Don't stand outside, grab some hot drink and get the hell out of there. Today is a hell of a weather, folks, so don't do anything stupid. Coming up next, Cold Hearts by Nikki Servalo. Beyond the Thaw is a first-person story-driven adventure, where you travel through the forests of Alaska under mysterious circumstances. You play as a Max Gilbert, a former military doctor, while taking a trip with your buddy to your usual place of stay, which is a nice cabin near the lake, and the next moment you find yourself alone in the middle of a fierce, cold, harsh winter and facing series of trials. And you can't really say for sure what is it, a reality or mind games? behind which lies your truly hidden deep secret. Beyond the Thaw is a storytelling and a slightly walking simulator, with elements of stealth, horror and adventure. We squeeze cinematography out of Unreal Engine and work hard to create beautiful and cohesive gameplay scenes. Every detail should be meaningful, storytelling is more important than beautiful style. We have provided additional activities – fishing, chopping wood, riding a snowmobile, searching for herbs – so that you can just catch your breath and enjoy the process. But at the same time, each of these activities will work to reveal the plot. You will meet both negative characters and positive ones, but at first glance you never know who is in front of you. Thank you for your time and I hope you enjoyed this video. Man, Siberia is ripping! Rip out looks so scary! So imagine you take down a bunch of enemies and then they join together to become a new type of enemy to take you out! It's too much, I'm scared. But you know what I love? You can play co-op on this game. So George, are you gonna play this one with me? I, I, I think I will Midas, I yeah. think I'm going to, yeah. <laughs> got me my guy, got me, got me, got love that. And Beyond the Four, a first-person action adventure where you are in the forest of Alaska. You are fighting the blistering cold and the mental mind games that are happening all at the same time. It's too much. Getting a 
emotional. Let's see some more games. Eric survival game where the community can impact the world in an async way. Discover the colorful planets and its weird inhabitants. Try to unlock the secrets and build your orbital pod until the next wipe. Gather resources, fight in dungeons, and build your own home. If solo play is not for you, bring up to four friends with you. The world has different structures and events that are synchronized so you have the power to impact the future of the planet by collaborating with the rest of the community remotely. In the pursuit of immortality, I evoked a ritual of ascension. However, the Church of Solar lay in wait. Their meddling trapped me in infernal torment. Years later, and more powerful than ever, I have returned. They took my land. Subjugating the denizens through religious obedience. But their flock will now fall and rise again by my hand. They will feel my wrath as I burn their armies, claiming their warriors as my own. To lay waste to their treachery. But even if I fall, Death will not stop me. Wow, the unliving control an unlimited army of dark creatures, rogue like action rpg burning the city to ash basically tapping into your dark side i love it so many great games coming from so many amazing countries cyprus italy united kingdom Siberia, ukraine so much more we have for you now remember you need to be part of the conversation so make sure you're using the hashtag europlay21 now let's have a look in chat so the activationist says the oculus somehow reminds me of resident evil a bit smiley face burnout brighter says beer and breakfast giving me cozy groove vibes in the best way so adorable we've got uk luke who's put put the beyond four directly into my veins you want that coldness in your veins 
crazy. But keep it all coming in. We need to hear what you think. And remember, vote for your favorite game by going to that all important link on Yuki's Twitter. So let's see some more video games because that's what we're here for. Hi, we call our Greg from Latvia. Today we are presenting our investigation game, The Case of the Golden Idol. It's our stab at delivering an exciting and challenging detective experience with what we feel only a few games have been successful so far. So, let's take a closer look, shall we? The game is set in the 18th century, where we will encounter various scenes of mysterious deaths. You start out by exploring the scene and gathering various clues of what might have happened here. You will get names of people, inspect their personal belongings, and try to notice everything that looks suspicious. Then, you will reconstruct the events by filling in the right phrases into a text scroll which retells what happened here. Finally, the game really takes off once you start realizing how all the scenarios are related and how a larger mystery gradually reveals itself. Hey, thanks for watching! We're planning to release the game on Steam, and if you want to give it a try, you can search for the demo version at itch.io. Take care! For a thousand years it lay entombed beneath the earth, and a thousand years it waited. Darkness shall sweep the land once more. Are there none brave enough to oppose it?
Yet sometimes, hope is not easily extinguished. And that's it, 16 spectacular gaming titles coming from developers all across Europe and beyond, beyond. Now, on the UK Game of the Show, we got over 4,000 votes and we want even more. So stop procrastinating, make your decision and get your vote in. But we got some really important people in the building. Yes, our two guest judges, one from Kuali and one from MCV. And they're both sitting with George. And I want to know what they're thinking so far. So George, over to you. Thank you very much, Midas. I'm glad that you referenced me as a very important person as well. Yeah. It's, it's been long <laughs> overdue, I've got to say that. Um, but so, gentlemen, um, you're both here for UK Game of the Show, doing the judging. We promise they're not biased, we promise. Um, Chris, what are your thoughts about the showcase so far? Honestly, it's the amount of diversity of games on there are just amazing. I mean, we've gone from what monsters combining all the way down to the Smurfs. Yeah. And I'm never not happy to see a Smurf. Well, exactly. I mean, I think everyone's happy to see a Smurf. I think that's been very much an established point of view for many people in their mm. lives so far. But Ben, <laughs> I mean, what are you making so far? I mean, especially because you're thinking about publishing a lot of these kinds of games. So, you know, what's your perspective on this? I think that the um, one thing that stands out about every game is the art design and execution. Yeah. I think every game has had its own unique kind of spin on how it looks. And to be honest, it's been amazing so far. Yeah, that's it. And, and have you sort of noticed any difference as well in terms of like the personality from the different countries shining through? Because I think one of the things that's been amazing about this is just how much talent there is across the entirety of Europe about how you've got great games coming out of everywhere. So did, did you feel as well you got to see even more of that diversity in this? Yeah, I think that, you know, with, um, you know, in an age of the internet, you know, it doesn't matter where you are, you know, in an age of COVID, people can develop remotely. And I think it shows, you know, they've been from the far corners of Europe and, uh, you know, there's not, not been any difference between a game developed in the UK or a game developed in Cyprus or Slovakia or the Ukraine. Fantastic. And so, Chris, as well, you're not going to be able to tell me who you've given your points to because you're a man of honour sometimes. Mm. At the, at I'm the sworn to secrecy. Exactly, you're sworn to secrecy. But in terms of MCV, you often cover these games that are unsigned. How important is a showcase like this to, to a lot of these games, do you think? I mean, tremendously. I mean, just being able to get such a spotlight and such a platform for a game that's not even released yet, it's sort of to get excitement around some of the amazing ideas that are coming out of all of these studios. I think it's a 
it's a great opportunity to have this platform. That's fantastic. And if there are any budding developers out there watching, anyone looking for a bit of advice about how to get in touch with someone like you and you know really stand out, have you got any tips? Well, you can email me directly and I will tell people that you're very good because that is basically my job. There we go. That's it. That's that's the easiest form of video game journalism <laughs> I think I've ever seen. Um, and, and just, you know, just before I throw back to Midas, I know that Midas at the start of the show said we couldn't wear glamorous, glittery wigs like this, but I just wanted to prove him wrong. This is very much a Yuki thing. So we're happy to do this. And back to you, Midas. George, I've got to say, you look amazing. The sparkle in your eyes with those wigs. You got my heart flattering, fam. You got your, my heart flattering. But it's time for you to make a decision. Voting has almost ended. But I get some of you. You're procrastinating. You're like Midas. There's so much amazing games. How am I meant to choose? Well, I'm going to help you out by sharing all of the games one more time. Run the montage. That's it. You've heard our judges' opinions. You've seen all of the games, but we can't choose a winner until you have your say. So get your vote in. Fixer, tell them get their vote in. Get your vote in. Exactly. <laughs> he is a wise, wise man. You need to listen to him. Now, voting is going to end very, very quick. It's almost finished. But so we can count all of these amazing votes that have come in to see what the judges said, we're going to take a little time out and I get to talk to a brethren of mine, my D, the one and only George from UK. George, welcome to Midas's Loading Bar. So happy to be here, and I can see you're already getting ready to call me out of time. So yeah, I'm pretty excited for this. I, I'll keep it about that one's for me, not for you. Oh, okay. But okay. I do have some questions for you. Uh, look, that's nearly as good. I'll take that. So this is the second virtual showcase that we are doing. How is it important is it to be able to be doing these shows and have the fans as part of the experience? Oh, I mean, it's hugely important, right? I mean, there's 37 million people in the UK who play games. That's over half the population, right? It is the nation's favourite hobby. So we need to be making sure that we get as many people as possible talking about these fantastic games because, look, we might be the company that represents all of these other companies. We might do all of that. But in the end, people are going to decide whether or not these games are going to be hits. are going to be the ones out there playing. So let's see what they're going to say. I'm, I'm really interested to find out. So Yuki are really important when it comes to the gaming industry. But for anyone who doesn't know what you do, yeah. give us a little breakdown. So we basically work with all of those games companies that you're familiar with, all of them across the UK, to go and try and make the UK the best place in the world to make, play and sell games. So as well as giving them loads of advice about how they can go and grow their business, we also do things like we go out to the press, you know, we argue the corner for, for games and say they're a good thing. And we run some really cool campaigns as well, especially stuff in schools to get kids into the industry as well. So it's, it's a really wide range of stuff. Uh, and yeah, it's quite magnificent to be involved. My beer was trash, but yeah. we're going to see some incredible games. Yeah. Not like this awful beer that I pulled. What is it that you're really looking forward to seeing? I think the main thing that I'm looking forward to seeing is the creativity. You know, one of the things that's fantastic about the games industry in the UK and actually around the world as well is the fact that there are so many different games out there with so many cool ideas appealing to completely different audiences. And I think one of the things that I'm really excited about seeing tonight is just that breadth. You know, we've got games that are going to completely different places, going for completely different types of players. And, and frankly, that, that's the stuff that makes games so exciting. Super dope. I really love it. Now, why are Britain, why are the UK so important to the gaming industry? Well, we are, we are pretty great. That's, uh, that's <laughs> what Great Britain's all about. But I mean, but seriously, 
One of the reasons why the UK has been so good historically, like we've been around for decades, we've had loads of really big companies here that spread all across the country, and as a result of that, that's inspired loads and loads of people to go and work for those companies, but also to go and set up their own as well. So you've just got thousands of companies across the UK making great games, and there aren't many other countries like that, which is one of the reasons why we're so damn good at it. We are the Best. Now, before I let you go, just let me know, what is UP up to right now? Oh, we've got lots of different things on the go. We're, we're going to be launching a new DevPub service pretty soon, and we're, we're looking forward to showing people a bit of that. But we're also doing some, some really cool things, like we're running a Green Game Summit with the UN later this year oh, to talk wow. about how video games can go green, which is fascinating. We've got some cool stuff coming up with our Digital Schoolhouse initiative that you're going to be finding out a bit more about in September. And we're doing loads of work in terms of our, our, our EDI diversity push as well to try and make sure that the games industry is welcome for everyone because we need as many people as possible getting involved so lots and lots more to come from us amazing almost as good as my beer yeah almost What an amazing show. But I will confess something here. In the video with my interview with George, the bear I pulled was trash. Keep your buck, it was rubbish. But as you can see, I got a lot better. Look at his bear right now. Look how fabulous that one I pulled. <laughs> it's pretty good. I'll say that. I will say that. No, I'm lying. I didn't do that. That was the wonderful staff at Loading Bar. Now, the votes are in, which means George has to stand up. Can you stand up? Bring me the envelope. Dan Kishun. Yes, the votes are in. Now, before I reveal, I'm just going to remind you how we picked a winner. So we had two judges in the building and they made their votes. But also, we counted all of your votes at home and we got over 10,000 votes. Everyone say yeah! yeah! Yes! We got a lot of votes, so I'm really, really excited. Now, just because I like to, I'm going to put George to work. George, can I get a drum roll, please? The winner of Europlay 2021 is Viewfinder! Yeah! The UK won! We won! Oh, I'm so emotional. I can't believe the UK finally won something for <laughs> once. Oh my goodness, what a show. It has been amazing, but I have to thank lots of people. So first of all, can I get a round of applause for our sponsor, Kuali? <laughs> Keep it coming, I want a nice round of applause for Loading Bar. <laughs> I want to say a huge personal thank you to Leon, George, Joel Twist and the full Yuki family. Let me get a round of applause for them. Yeah. Of course, our amazing judge from MCV. Yeah. But more important than all of them, the amazing developers who took part in this showcase. I have been blown away by some of these games and your games are incredible. And as a gamer, this is what makes me happy. So thank you for doing such an incredible job. And everyone at home who watched, because without you, there would be no show. You are amazing. I'm Mr. Midas and we out of here.
Peace. Thank <laughs> you.